Hey, what is up everyone? I hope every one of you is staying safe amidst this COVID crisis. Um, I would like to apologize that it took a little while for my next video to come up. I was actually waiting for YouTube to monetize my channel so that I can earn for my next video, but it looks like uh, it is delayed because of the uh, COVID crisis, understandably so. Um, so I'm uploading a new video with me racing the guys from go for gold and other national team members So it's it's a really interesting race um, I'm not winning. I'm sorry, but Yeah, I, I just wanna I just want to take the opportunity to thank everyone for supporting my channel I have grown to almost 2,000 subscribers uh, already and um, I'm way over the threshold for monetizing the channel. So I'm just waiting for YouTube to give me a go um, but yeah, I just I, I do hope that um, you, you like my content. I thank you for everyone who continues to uh, to watch my videos and support my channel. Um, interesting content coming up soon since I I'm, I'm able to uh, earn from from the videos that I post. Um, I'm gonna post interesting topics like coaching and training. So uh, do look out for it. Uh, for now, enjoy the video and um, see you around. So we are gate crushing a race. Uh, I hope I can hold their wheel because the the stars are here. The stars from Go for Gold are here. If I'm able to hold their wheel for three, four laps, I'm done for the day. It's already a good workout. Uh, we've been doing mostly long rides in the year and mostly climbing, so it'll be a difficult task to hold their wheel in this very flat section on a criterium race. But I have my domestic with me who always leaves me. You talk or kamot, ang pinakaway gamit.
is me now trying to um, do some uh, commentaries on this race. As you can see, um, I'm having a hard time holding to their uh, holding on to their wheels. Um, they're just damn too fast for me. And that's just the reality of every triathlete out there trying to race purists, especially in the likes of like Junel Carcueva, Elmer Navarro, and John Muir, our top level. Uh, cyclist in the country but um, we're doing our best and um, I'm, I'm not doing too bad actually because I'm still on the group after a lap but yeah um, if you have seen the video I'm having trouble with the U-turns because um, uh, as a triathlete you don't have that acceleration or just the brute force and power uh, trying to get out of the saddle and you know move and um, try to uh, expend a lot of power just to you know accelerate yeah and then this group has a lot of firepower in it as you can see um, Janel Carcueva is leading the group he's our top cyclist during the SEA Games and then behind him is his teammate Elmer Navarro who is super super strong as, as well right in front of me is um, uh, Kit Bonita who raced Ronda Filipinas before and that's um, Ito for Rakamot or Alvin De La Torre who's uh, Cebu's King of the Mountains. In front of the two of them is John Mir who has won gold in individual pursuit in the SEA Games so this is star studded and uh, I'm not that's not even mentioning the guys behind me like Negro and um, Baroy who are like a class above me as well in terms of cycling so this is what usually happens every turn I get gap because as I've said I don't have that much power compared to them because um, especially this race was done in March um, I don't I didn't have that much training or I was doing mostly base workout so I didn't have that speed so I'm relying on the guys behind me to move around me so that they can carry me back to the group I'm relying uh, and a few people to you know just look at each other and just slow down the group because if, if this race goes full gas then it's pretty difficult to it's pretty difficult to just you know stay in the group so um, the dynamics of the race work a little bit for me but uh, you know uh, without mentioning the fact that I was going full gas and I was you know at the limit for the most time so yeah this is I think third lap and uh, we're going like on the tailwind over 50 kilometers per, per hour um, on the headwind it's like around 38 or 36 um, so right in front of me is John Okanas I was working for John here in this race and then the guy in front I believe is Junel Carcoy was trying to you know pour on the pressure so um, what I'm trying to do right now is just react and try to race smart because uh, there's no way I'm not, there's no way I'm gonna win this race. So I just wanna, you know, hang on to the group. Sometimes I even take shortcut shortcuts like that. And then um, yeah, there are a few U-turns that aren't as brutal as as the one uh, as the one on the other side. So I'm able to you know conserve energy, try to um, try to. Uh, manage myself so um yeah uh what i'm trying to do in this race is just you know look for the moves or the movements look for the patterns um try to be in the right wheel because um it, it will come to a point that there's a significant move that will be a winning move that i was hoping i could get into that move so that you know the race or the, the group will go steady and then at that point it's it's what I want. I don't. I don't want attacks and slowing down, and then somebody attacks on top of the other one. It's you know, it's very very hard. Um, unfortunately, I didn't bring a power meter in this race, and uh, so I couldn't give you a graph of like how hard I was going. But I was definitely, you know, going full gas. So this is Junel, the driver right in front of me right now. I will get Cabonita. So they are trying to, you know, keep the pace up. And this is Negro. Uh, the brother of Baroy. So yeah, they, so here comes another attack and there's gaps that are opening and then I can't even, you know, I can't even try to hold the wheel of someone trying to close the gap. So uh, it's a pretty difficult race for me. Uh, it's going really, really fast and um, I'm trying to conserve because I know for a fact that in a few moments time there's another U-turn and then it moves. from there on it goes difficult 
and there's Elmer Navarro trying to move it to front so that's alarm bells so here's um, here's uh, here's the group um, I'm trying to hold the wheel of uh, John Mir because I know he's a very savvy racer so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be in the hopes of winning this race or he's gonna be in the mix and uh, as you can see again it's the, the U-turns are very difficult for me I'm getting gapped pretty easily so I'm just counting on someone on the group looking at each other so that they, the, the whole group wouldn't move as fast so that they can bridge like this one so yeah, this is pretty much the theme for me throughout the race.